World of Dentistry Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs Did you know that gums can also get sick? Discover how to prevent gum disease. Hello everyone. Today we will talk about a very important topic that few people know about, gum disease. Surely we have all heard about the importance of dental hygiene to prevent cavities, but it is very common to forget about gum health, which can have serious consequences for our overall oral health. Did you know that gums can also get sick? Many people think that good dental hygiene only involves having shiny, cavity-free teeth, but oral health involves much more. When gums become diseased, progressive alterations occur that have several stages. Teeth have a visible part, crown, and an invisible part, root. The roots of the teeth are submerged in areas of the upper and lower jawbones called alveolar ridges. These ridges are covered by a soft pink tissue called the gums. When the gums become sick and inflamed, the tissues that support the tooth are affected in general, and this can cause several problems, including tooth loss. But what causes gum disease? Although there are several factors that can contribute to developing gum disease, the main cause of these is bacterial plaque, both soft and calcified. Bacterial plaque is a layer of organized food and bacteria that adheres to the teeth and remains there for a prolonged period. When the body detects dirt on the dental surface, it initiates a defense mechanism against the bacteria, causing inflammation of the gums. There are two types of bacterial plaque, soft plaque, which forms recently and can be removed with a brush and floss, and calcified or tartar plaque, which forms when soft bacterial plaque is not removed in time and hardens on the teeth. To remove this plaque, specialized instruments and equipment for use in the dental office are required. What are the factors that can favor the accumulation of bacterial plaque? One of them is poor oral hygiene, that is, when plaque is not removed from all dental surfaces. Dental crowding is also a factor that can make oral hygiene difficult and favor the accumulation of plaque. Another factor is the lack of salivation, since saliva helps clean the teeth and if it is insufficient, plaque accumulation is favored. Other factors that can cause gum disease include hormonal changes, smoking, consumption of certain medications, immune system diseases, genetic predisposition, advanced age, tooth loss, and bruxism. Fortunately, there are many things that can be done to prevent gum disease. It is important to maintain good oral hygiene, including brushing your teeth twice a day, using floss and mouthwash, and regularly visiting the dentist. It is also important to follow a healthy diet, limit sugary foods and drink plenty of water. In addition, avoiding smoking and exercising regularly can help maintain good oral health and prevent gum disease. Remember to always brush your teeth at least twice a day and use dental floss to remove bacterial plaque that is found between your teeth. Also, avoid tobacco and reduce consumption of sugary drinks and foods. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.